Welcome back. I almost forgot the most important part, the filling. So I got Stephen chopping sausage, which is just breakfast sausage, so that's cool. And um, uh, Cameron. Cameron, thank you. I was going to call him Tato. Uh, <laughs> is great in the cheese. Now, the crepes are done. We sauteed they the are. onions that Stephen was chopping before. So we're moving right along. What we're going to do is as soon as they get enough, is uh, fill the crepes up, throw them in the oven, and then we're gonna come back and eat. So hang on while we do this part because this is the tasty part. Okay, so we're grating some cheese here. We need about a cup of cheese, so then you're gonna measure that out. Do a little bit more, you're not quite there yet. So I like to hold my cheese, I like it holding it this way. It feels like I have more room to use, put my hand in my finger. So why don't you try it that way? And notice we have this safety glove on so that the kids that. don't cut themselves while they're here. And the handy dandy safety knife. The safety knife is good because it teaches them how to use the knife properly, but it limits kind of the danger of cutting right. uh, with a chef's knife. But we do give them practice with a chef's knife once they reach ten, age 10, and then they've been working with the safety knife sufficiently. So they've so already got like it, it's knife. familiar in their hand, and, and but yeah, so then they can get to the knife Cameron work, here which is cool. Cameron here uses a chef's knife. He, he just goes to town. He, he'll chop anything up that he sees. Right. So I'd imagine that, do they still wear a glove? They do, must, yeah, that's absolutely. very smart. It's uh, our policy. Those. Okay, so he's measuring out a cup there. And Stephen, you want to just get a few more pieces of sausage chopped up? Our sausage has already been pre-cooked. We bought it that way on purpose so that we can uh, limit the use see of if we can do it this way. Uh, using raw I think meat. I could? Yep, you can use fingers. Did you wash your hands, Kevin? I did. Thank oh, you good. very much. I would just never grab sure. food with that wash in my We're hands, would I? Just making sure. See, this is the way I'll get Kylie to help me, because she, she, yeah, I don't have a safety exactly. knife. Exactly, and Kylie's how old now? She just had her birthday party she's here six. a couple months ago, Yeah, so she's, she's six. six. But these are things that Kylie can do, right? Oh, yeah, she can do all this Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I just don't have any of the handy safety knives, so. Right, so bring her to young stuff. That's right. I should. And camp. Yeah, camp. <laughs> That's I think the it's ticket. just hitting him that he can bring what his kids to what camp. What was I thinking? <laughs> That's it. That's the ticket. <laughs> Okay, now Cameron, he just pushed this down a little bit to kind of get the air out of the cup, you know, between the pieces of cheese. We don't want to pack it though, right? We don't want to really smash it. So he's got to get a little bit more cheese now. Nice, so, nice work um, there. We've got Kevin over there cooking too. Hey, everybody gets to help sometime. It wouldn't be my show if I didn't get to make a mess a little bit. That's right. I'll get you guys a bowl. We're gonna. This is the filling for the crepes that we're gonna mix all up there. Okay. And are we putting the eggs in the in the filling? We are. This is a filling with eggs, sausage, actually some mayo. Oh, good. We're gonna put that Got in that. there. Our cheddar cheese. Um, so it's a whole breakfast extravaganza. It is. And one is. little muffin. It is. You could have this for brunch too. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. Would be a nice brunch idea. Um, we are going to need dinner. some milk. So, Kevin, could you Get grab milk, milk sure. out of the fridge again? And it looks like Cameron there has just got enough cheese. And, Kevin, if you want to measure the milk, it's a quarter cup. Do you know what a quarter cup is? Yes. I know. I'm just kidding. I, I can read. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. That's good. In, that's good. You're good there. Ooh. Am I just putting it in with the sausage? Uh, yeah, I figured we could use this big bowl that case, in case we miss. All right. We, uh, Told you I'd make a mess before we were all sitting down. <laughs> we got that Don't cup over there. Go ahead, add that. And we got our onions that Stephen chopped and sauteed. When you guys are ready, add those onions. Nothing. You're not filming this, are you, Frank? I didn't do anything at all. And then we got to get that in there. There's eggs. And we got to get that mayonnaise measured out. So somebody's got to right. measure out a quarter cup of mayo, please. Quarter cup of mayo? Yes. I just put the quarter cup right here. Okay, you need another quarter cup? Nope, I got it. It's good. Got a spoon? Need a spoon? Yes, ma'am. There you go. Thank you. So, yeah, as you can see at Young Chefs Academy, we really do cook with kids of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Okay, here's our nice crepes, oh, right? Yeah. Cameron's going to get started filling our uh, Oops, sorry, buddy. muffin tin. What do you think? We should hit it with some pan first. Yeah, right? Because last time it stuck. Uh, all right, cool. We're going to mix this up, right? And we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and show you what it looks like when it's all finished, and we're going to taste it. And uh, hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Be right back.
Okay, welcome back to the, f this is the most important part of the show, Stephen. What we're going to do is taste everything, and uh, we've even brought in some ringer taste testers. This is? Amanda. Haha, uh -huh, see? I forgot already, but. I covered it nicely. So, Amanda, you actually work here, right? I do. Okay. And do you do you help cook? Of course. Okay. The kids do most of the cooking, though. All right, but you didn't help us, so I would, thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm just getting used to that. That's right. All right, so uh, and then Gwen on the other side, I'm going to pass this down to you. Find out who she is. Hi. All right, tell us who you are. I'm Gwen, Cameron's mom. And how long has Cameron been cooking for you? Cameron's been cooking for some time now, yeah. a couple of years. Going what's his on favorite now. thing? To, what's your favorite thing that he cooks for you? Um, my favorite thing he cooks for me is um, salmon um, and steamed shrimp. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. All right. All right. So then, now let's follow that question up. Cameron, what's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook is the shrimp that she said I like. That she says she likes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah, did you learn the recipe here? No, I actually made it up on my own. Did you? Oh, really? Nice. Awesome. We're going to have to try that on the next show. Steve, what about there you? There you go. Um, I like cooking um, breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast is good. I like breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, we're going to try this. Um, right. What you should do really quick, though, Michelle, while we're yes. plating this up for everybody sure. to taste, mm -hmm. is give people your website before we run out of time. Tell okay, everybody sure. how to get a hold of you and, and hit the summer camps and the cooking schools one more time. Okay, I will do that. Our website is youngchefsacademy.com. Their number in the Newark Pike Creek location is 234-2800 at the Young Chefs Academy location in Newark Pike Creek or in Middletown calls at 376-5600 or visit our website at youngchefsacademy.com and uh, we'll be happy to give you more information about camps. You can email us. We can uh, send you the confirmation form and the uh, camp registration form. So give us a call. All right. Don't okay, be shy, so everybody. Dig you. in. All right. So don't forget Celebrity okay, Kitchens. We're not there, but we all are always usually there. It's a great place. You guys ever been to Celebrity Kitchens? Mm -mm. It's a great place to learn how to cook also. They have people that will teach you how to cook, but then you get to eat it. They give you a little wine service. It's very nice. Chefs from around the place. So thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys, testers, uh, everybody, let's All go. All right, let's try it, guys. Burn up the beef. Mmm. Now, see, I don't even eat ketchup for this. This is good. Mm -mm, no ketchup. Mm -mm. I like ketchup. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Oh, when Papa come home, hear us kids scream. Your kids quick and plain.